14-year-old Gemma Francis has made 182 new friends at All Saints College in Bull Creek. 14 of those she didn't even have to invite. You might think Gemma's just another popular teenager, but not quite. She's not even a she. It's actually Paul Litherland, an ex-policeman teaching high school students across Perth a lesson in cyber safety. It was just a matter of getting out there and sending friend requests to as many of the students as I could identify online. And uh, it's, it's a good way of, again, a good example of showing them how easy it is to identify them online and, and find out where they are, what they're up to, who they interact with and the information they're sharing. Mr Litherland manages to identify students by their school being listed or their account containing pictures of them in school uniform. At each school, an average of seven out of ten students accept Gemma's request. Very few ask who she is. Some even wish her happy birthday. The account that I've used to interact with you guys online, OK, I've had about 33 or 34 blokes of about... 40 to 60 years of age from all over the world try to friend me. I was a bit shocked about was how many of our year group actually accepted his friend request on the fake account. I, yeah, I didn't expect it to be that high. Mr Litherland worked for the WA Police for 21 years, spending some of his time working in technology crime. I identified a number of years ago how easy it was for online predators and, and groomers to actually identify kids online, especially through the period of um, the murder of Sofia Rodriguez with Dante Arthurs. There's a lot of media reports there that he was using social networking to, to gain information of young, of young kids and young girls in Perth. So that sort of um, got my interest tweaked in regards to trying to deal with um, the whole safety, online safety of the kids at, at Sophia's school. The demand became so high, Mr Litherland left the police force to focus his attention on educating kids on cyber safety. It was eye-opening. I didn't realise any of the things that we were told were actually as bad as they were. I address Facebook readily because it's the largest network in the world today, um, but, but it's across most platforms. I mean, your Instagram, your Snapchats, um, even Twitter, as the kids get older and stuff like that. It's anything online where they're sharing information, they're sharing details about themselves. I had sort of ignored geotagging. I thought it was just like if you had checked in somewhere, not that people could trace your IP address and find your house. To that extent, that's a bit scary that someone can find you so easily. Mr Litherland varies sessions for each age group, keeping topics like sexting and sexploitation for the older students. 250 billion images currently on Facebook. Yep, you know, all the selfies. OK, that's, that's the girl. All the boys, you know, with their abs. <coughs> Mr Litherland also conducts sessions for parents, stressing the fact he's not telling them to shut their kids off from social networking. It's just a matter of just working with your kids, identifying what networks they're on and not to panic simply because you may have heard certain things about certain applications or certain networks. As for the students, they got a much needed wake up call to think before they click. You'll think your, your photos when you put them online are just yours and private but they're really not even if your privacy settings are really high. I'm going to privatise it up a little more instead of having it a little more open to the public. I'm definitely Googling my name, <laughs> seeing what's there.